Welcome back to Valley Life. I'm Alicia Safias. Today we're talking about something very important, which is all of our health. And it is National Diabetes Month. I am joined by Steve from Anthem Blue Cross. Welcome. Thank you. We have a campaign starting right now called My Life with Diabetes. We're teaming up with you and with KMJ Radio and several other local businesses because this is so important. First of all, tell us about the campaign. This campaign we launched last year, which was um, My Life with Diabetes. And, and what we wanted to do is get the Valley aware of the diabetic epidemic that we have in this country, and especially here in the Central Valley. Was, we had such great success last year, we decided to launch it again this year a second time. Um, currently, right now, there's 79 million Americans with preset diabetes or onset diabetes to where they don't know that they have it. And one in five of those will have full blown diabetes during the course of their lifetime. So, this campaign is to get people to submit their stories into KMPH channel 26 to tell us their story and how they've handled and lived with diabetes over their lifetime to encourage others to go out and get tested because with so many out there untested in on a pre-diabetic status uh, they don't know they have it and it's it's going to be an epidemic that we have currently yeah and of course here we are seeing those numbers those numbers are staggering a lot of people you said do not even know that they're living with diabetes so those stories out there from people out there in the community that have it when you read those stories you aren't as scared and you're ready to tackle it more and maybe come in and get tested and that is what this is all about yes yeah, to encourage them to not be defensive or scared about it but to go to their doctors and get tested um, there's many types there's two main types of diabetes you have type 1 diabetes which is where your body your pancreas doesn't produce insulin therefore you have to have insulin injections during the course of your life to treat the disease type 2 diabetes is brought on where your body produces insulin, it just doesn't produce enough to process the sugars and break down the sugars and convert it to energy. Therefore, you get a toxic level of sugar levels in your body, which is detrimental to your health. That leads to other chronic conditions. It leads to high blood pressure. It leads to coronary artery disease. It leads to high cholesterol, um, which are very deadly, and people are unaware of it. Now, we do always hear that we need to exercise and we need to eat right, and that really is the key to preventing type 2 diabetes, isn't it? Absolutely, and type 2 diabetes is, is the most prevalent. It affects 85% of those afflicted with this disease and can be controlled under a, a managed diet and a, a regular exercise routine. You know, 61% of the U.S. population over the age of 18 are overweight. 31% are morbidly obese. That is the precursor to diabetes type 2 which leads to sedentary lifestyles, high cholesterol, and those other chronic conditions we shared. One thing that this does, if we go in and get tested and we talk about this and we stay healthy, is we're setting a very good example for our children. We're being role models, and that is something that is turning into an epidemic. Our children who are afflicted with diabetes and who have to live with it for the rest of their lives. Absolutely. There's over 2 million children that are afflicted with this disease, and they don't even know that they have it. And it, Diabetes and obesity in children have tripled over the last 10 years across this country. So we're a fast food generation where we go in and get a quick fix for food. It's high in sugar, high in cholesterol. Our body can't process all that. So we have to have a more balanced diet and a more regular exercise routine to process the sugars. Wow, well hopefully a lot of people, families out there will pay attention to this campaign and take an example and go and get tested and really change their lifestyle because that really is what it's all about. Absolutely, and again, we're excited to partner with you, Good Neighbor Pharmacy and KMJ Radio in this campaign. And again, you can go to the website, mylifewithdiabetes.net, and you can submit your story. And we're actually giving away $1,000. So there's a little more of an incentive with that. And speaking of money, this disease carries a huge price tag each year, doesn't it? We complain about our insurance rates. We complain about our medical bills. But this really is one of the big factors. Absolutely. We, we talk about controlling health care costs and the drivers of health care. It's associated $220 billion a year are associated with this disease and the illnesses that are affected by it. That's amazing. And so there are a lot of things that go along with it, like obesity, which is another high price tag disease out there. And, and it's, it's, a, it's a lifestyle choice. People have a choice with type 2 diabetes because it can be managed through diet and exercise. And if they do have to take certain medications, it's an oral medication that they can take to control it. And last thing, what message would you send to the people out there of the Central Valley, letting them know that 
you know, this exists and that you would really encourage them to help. Uh, again, we are at the, the grassroots level here coming to the communities, encouraging you to go out and get tested, to have a, a an active lifestyle to where your, your mobility, you're not a sedentary lifestyle behind the TV playing video games all the time. Uh, we want to get people exercising and getting active. All right, let's get the Central Valley active and healthy out there. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. All right, so again, My Life with Diabetes campaign. You can send in your stories and win $1,000, or you can just go there and be inspired to get tested for this growing disease. And Valley Life, we'll be right back. <music>